My name is David Iron. I'm 56 years of age and I live in Faversham. I've had three primary cancers. Um, the first one was uh, melanoma. The second one was lymphoma, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. That was advanced stage. And the third primary cancer uh, was a medium stage uh, bowel cancer. After the skin cancer, nothing happened for eight years. My doctor, who is also a personal friend, um, said to me that um, I appeared to have some lumps around my neck. I had various scans and that um, identified exactly what it was and also what the stage was. Pretty much all the uh, lymph nodes that they could see um, were starting to swell. I was aware that the stem cell transplant was risky. Um, the lead doctor uh, who uh, was in charge of giving it to me um, said that the risks uh, were low at that stage, but it's still, um, because you're quite close to death, um, it's still quite a nerve-wracking thing at the time. The harvesting of the stem cells uh, 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 was done over two, three hours. I was lying on a hospital bed. There was a, um, a large uh, machine next to me that I was hooked up to with um, uh, tubes taking the blood from me into the uh, and around the centrifuge and then back in again. Um, and uh, uh, they showed me at the end this, this, this bag of stem cells and then took them away to be frozen. When I went into hospital, I was there for a week while they gave me large amounts of high-dose chemotherapy. And at that point, my own stem cells were simply put back into my own body. It took a few minutes. There was one major complication that I had. that I was diagnosed with a pneumonia um, just when my body was least able to, to fight it. But the very next day, the week after I got the pneumonia, uh, the daily blood test uh, showed that I had a tiny, tiny amount of new white blood cells. Um, and that amount grew, and it was like a straight line, cut the graph, from the bottom. I had no white blood cells right on the bottom of the graph, and then a tiny amount, and then more, and then more, and then more. It went up in a kind of straight line. and. Um, on the third day, still very low blood count, but enough to do something. I felt genuine recovery. Uh, a couple of days after that, uh, the nurse came in and said, here's a slice of bread and butter. So, and she cut it in heart in two, and I took a mouthful of, of the middle of it, not the crust, just the middle. And it went all the way through into my tummy. And that was fantastic because I was also starting to feel hungry. And that proved to everybody that the body was definitely on the mend. Basic functions were restored. Um, and two days later, I was sent home. I've been living with cancer for 17 years now. It's part of my life. Most people I come across don't know I've got it. Life goes on, I work, I play. I play the role of father, husband, all these things go on. We just do what we need to do um, to survive and continue the family. For information, help, or if you just want to chat, call the Macmillan support line on 0808 808 0000 or visit macmillan.org.uk.